The matter of the world is set in stone, it appears. The world created us, and when we create, we are forced to do so within the limits of a world in which we have little control. In this sense, do we create at all, or is it nature which commands the creative forces? Reza Gerne, whose paintings bear the signature Res Raven, uses all his experiences to mould his paintings into whimsical patterns. Probably the first thing that one notices about his works is the energy. Long recognised for his work as a printmaker, his art combines a sharp intuition with the intellectual discipline of his academic foundations. The artist is now producing a series titled Murmuring Colours, an abstract work subtly infused with organic, figurative drawing form. He is known as an artist with an unmistakable visual approach, but also as somewhat of a gambler with colour and form, as an artist who explores the unknown in the empty canvas to find new visions there. When we're looking at Rez Journey's art, uh, when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about... Uh, master artists like uh, Kandinsky and I, w I was thinking to myself about Kandinsky and I was thinking about how his work was of the sky and uh, Rez Journey's work is of, of the earth. What's unusual in visual art, especially when you're working with this particular kind of medium, is to see that kind of textual understanding in art today. People are not really interested or, or possessed by trying to explore or understanding texture and its relationship to color. That's unusual. Rez's practice of layering colors creates delicious visual paradoxes, playing with the ephemeral essentials of transparency, light and space. The asymmetrical grid is brought to life by interlocking lines in which he grounds his compositions. These colourful deposits blush like toxic sunsets and blossom into one another, lying compressed like undiscovered ore in the mantle of an unseen but very much felt world. These images are building blocks of the imagination. These figurines that are in the works are not um, complete, I think, because human beings in a way are self-evolving and haven't completed themselves. But when I look at the art and I try, to in, I try to digest the impressions of the works, I see that the forms and so on, the colors, and what he's trying to, to communicate are in some respects indigestible but one, one is magnetized towards digesting those forms. Like silent answers to rhetorical questions, the human impressions of Res Raven's paintings present themselves in the process of being completed. Packed like awakened fossils in the bedrock of paint, they only appear to be complete renderings. Human nature and nature itself are very important themes for Res. And I think painting in this open-ended style is another way for him to explore these themes. There is a sense of surrender in Rez's renderings of human figures. The many human forms express gestures that are meek, yet still statuesque. 
They hover in a state of repose, comfortable among the chaotic shards and folds in which they are entrapped. I don't think that there's necessarily conceptual social commentary on the, on the cityscape, but to get the impression that the human figure, the incomplete human figure, wants to be box-like, um, condo-like, um, as juxtaposed to some ancient kind of impression uh, that wants to transport you out of yourself. Man wants to pursue escape, but yet is again trapped in escape of condo-itis. That, that, that's something I saw. Rez treats the canvas as a site upon which a simple motif could repeatedly occur with energy, balance and harmony. The lines and shape space align themselves within each painting or drawing according to an organic internal logic, as fluid as a stream of consciousness. The collisions of overripe hues and jagged tectonic fault lines vibrate with an otherworldly essence, giving off an enigmatic quality of a visual mythology. Rez's paintings have a kind of enchanting effect, as though one were gazing into a reverie of the collective unconscious. This most intimate wellspring of imagination is always strange and unnameable. This is the transcendent spark that lights up Rez's aesthetic. With these recent canvases, he has shifted towards an emphasis on the internal harmonies between natural and man-made materials. This is where we begin to see the metaphysical tension running through Rez Raven's work. The natural world challenging humanity's ability to contain it or tame it or draw a limit around it. When, when, you're, when you're looking at the expression of certain kinds of, of um, visual art, it's trying to bring you into a state that goes beyond your normal repertoire of, of everyday experience, people's everyday experience, especially with respect to shape, color, texture, and how human beings are entrapped in themselves, I think has, is quite limited. So I think the art itself is, the, the works that he's created or trying to, to be a vehicle for are, are trying to, to express themselves in, in that way. That's what I, I'm getting by that. Creation in the hands of man versus the animal world. Um, the artist as master of his own world and wild animal too. And I think that Rez is trying to let them both hold the brush at the same time. And this is why, the, this is why his work seems refined in a technical sense, but raw somehow. You have particular shapes which are being transmuted and transported through the artist which are which are spontaneous and not owned themselves they're not owned by the artist that's clear the artist is obviously trying to become a vehicle once the paint starts flowing it's the work begins to animate itself and there's a method to this process it's not just random but it's more um, a reflex than reason, I think. The moment, sometimes moment, uh, you stuck and you don't know, you have where to start again. So most people work in that category, they face that. So the best idea which I discover is as soon you get your hand involved, Desperation walk in, and it's desperation wouldn't come when you sit in a cafeteria or having a cappuccino or daydreaming. As soon as you get involved with the work, the work would lead you to the next stage, and that would continue. When you look at all the canvases, 
leaning against the wall in the studio and you see them evolve each day, it's like watching Ivy grow. The basic form and basic idea are there from the beginning, but every new growth just takes a direction of its own. Because you are not sometimes in control, that the whole nature of the work, it controls you. I think Razor lives on the edge of the cliff and, and that's, that's what, what's coming through clearly in his personage and his art. I think Razor recognizes that the human condition is, is beyond humor and that's what's so humorous about it. I think people who, who, who are with him recognize that all his jokes are or about that. I used the chopsticks after. Use chopsticks? Yeah, after Japanese food, they have very really sharp chopsticks. Oh, you can use anything. You can use your name sometimes. Caveman technique. Yes. That you shouldn't take yourself too seriously, but you should love yourself, and that life isn't going to leave you high and dry, even though you're going to be a wounded soldier. That's what I have to say. <laughs> you could be shot many times, but I mean, how many holes can there be? As a young traveller, Rez observed the toiling and chaotic human condition animating the alleys and backrooms of a sleepless city's underbelly. Travelling widely across Europe, his unforgiving eye for the authentic existence beneath the ambiguous veneer of domestic scenes and social life gave his renderings of the human condition an unmistakable potency. Immersing himself completely in local life, Rez could set his outsider's eyes earnestly onto the hidden hardships of the domestic scene before his adventures led him to Canada in the mid-80s. Rez is a Persian artist born into a largely artistic family. In Toronto, he became engaged at once with the local art scene, working personally with established Canadian artists from several disciplines. With a tireless hand and an imagination to match, Rez became recognised as an accomplished artist with a breadth of work spanning many visual styles. The collage period finished with this gentleman over here, which all of his dream crash on this work. Long time ago I used to use the collage which I would use variety, different type of material, and some of these work, they are in the a good hand, in the hand of friends. All the outlines of stories were there to be coloured in. The intimate dramas and silent solitude of lost figures in the marketplace, cafes and splintered homes. A harsh material world political and painstakingly human, seemed to guide his brush with uncompromising empathy. The dynamics of his expression took whatever form they needed to, depending on what the immediate environment offered. Twigs and glass might be gathered from a burnt-out bedroom scene and assembled into the work itself. Scraps and scattered objects from the settings themselves moved from the ground to the paintings.
painting is like playing sometimes. It's like going to play, but you can't force yourself to go play every day, 10 hours a day. Art is even a bad one always, in whole entire history, try to improve the mankind life by offering the work in many variety of different forms. Today, art, we have so many confusion happening too, and so many wannabe, and lots of them want to show off, and some of them, they want to be an ocean, but when you want to jump into it, it's just this much depth, so. That's about the, the world of art today, you know, like sometimes make you scratch your head. Sometimes politics key to combine very funny combination. It's like exactly to put in the egg top of the pizza. Very funny combination, so it's not easy for anybody to go and enjoy that meal. That's why when you look around, we have so many chaos. Politics get involved with everything, <laughs> including me, sometimes. There is a magic in Rez's work. It is in the graphical foreignness of kaleidoscopic landscape, which is able to radiate something deeply familiar and archetypal. Rez's work is a kind of anti-history, where landmarks are actually portals in space, concealing and revealing themselves, scattering any sense of origin in time. Rez breaks apart the grey stones we build with, the hard earth we use for survival, and explodes their monotony into colourful shards. Well, it's difficult 
to talk about art in general because art goes beyond the rational mind. But I think what's important is that people are too caught up in explanations for explanations themselves. And I think that, that that's the allure of his, his work. That you can't, you have to export yourself beyond explanation. Thank you.